Hi, I'm Paul Seal from codeshare.co.uk. Today I want to tell you about my new package that I've done for Umbrico. It's called Smaller Images, and this is the elevator pitch for it. Not that I'm trying to pitch it because it's a free package anyway. Um, don't talk about free packages. Anyway, you've got an Umbrico website, maybe you've got clients that upload images. You might also have users that upload images as well. Let's say they're uploading images from their mobile phone. Some of these images might be 12 megapixels or, you know, you might be looking at images that are 6,000 pixels wide, things like that. Now, you could be hosting those yourself. You could have it on your own server. You could have loads of space or you might have minimal space. Maybe you're hosting with Azure. Maybe you're hosting on your own uh, VPS. So what is this package? This package is called Smaller Images. And what does it do? It reduces the size of those images at the point of when they are saved. When the, so you could upload an image that is 6,000 pixels wide, and this will reduce the size of it right down. So for an example, this is what happens if you, at the moment, up, upload an image to Umbrico that is this wide, so 3,000 nearly 4,000 wide and 2,500 uh, pixels high. So it goes in as it was. Now the whole point of this package is to set a maximum size that that can go in at. So let's, so if I was to set that, I could make it go in at 1080p. So 1920 wide, 1080 high, it'll never go any higher than that. You can also set it to keep the ratio as well. So I don't think this is the same ratio as 1080p. So that's what we can do. So I'm going to show you how to install this package. There are a few ways of doing it. One way is you can just go to uh, developer tab, go to packages and go to smaller image, type in smaller images and you will find it there. You click on that and install package. It works with anything after 7.6.5. So from 7.65 and above. It will work with that. Um, so all I did was I clicked on the package, clicked on uh, I accept and installed. And then it's just installing the package. Click on finish to complete. So now I've got that in place. There's another step to follow. So if we go to the GitHub for this, that is github.com slash prjc slash smaller images. I'll do a uh, short link, so it'll be codeshare.co.uk slash smaller images, and that will take you straight to the GitHub repo. You can see here the instructions for it, so you can install it using NuGet. We've installed it just using the um, developer tab packages like that on Umbrico. Anyway, if you go to the GitHub page, you just copy and paste these uh, app settings, and then this will make the make it work for your website. So if you put these into your web config for that site. So what do we have here then? So we're saying that we'll resize it to 1920 by 1080 and there's a resize suffix. So whilst it's doing the save of this other file, it saves it with underscore 1080p, or well, just 1080p. And then you can choose to keep the original or not. So you might want to actually, when, when it does a save of the original file, you create this 1080p size one and leave it at that. You don't delete the original. But what if you say to delete the original, uh, sorry, that's for if you want to keep the original. If you don't want to keep the original, it will keep this new file and delete the original and then rename the new file back to the original name. So it's like it just replaces the original file. So that's if you leave that to false. Um, it can also upscale images as well. So say if you've got an image that's a bit small, um, but you want it to be 1080p in size, then it can up upscale it using the image processor from Jim Bob Squarepants on their GitHub. Um, but yeah, so it do all of this, it does use the image processor. So that will just make a bigger image, but it will be a bit blurry and stretched. It won't be that great. Then you can do another resize size. So if maybe on codechair.co.uk, if we go to that, If you see all of these images here on CodeShare, these are actually a fixed size image that gets created whenever I add a new image. So um, that's what that's for there. So you can create yourself a smaller size image of that. And it just is called underscore preview at the end of the image before the extension. So um, 
then what I do is I just replace the the end of the file name to get the extension and replace the extension with underscore preview and then the extension. So if I show you that on here. So yeah, it's, so it's the image path underscore preview dot JPEG. Anyway, so let's see it in action then. So I've added it to my site. Click, I've put the app settings in. I've clicked on save from my web config. So now the image that I just uploaded, uh, so the image that I uploaded before, so we've got a new one here, and now it's gone in at 1080, 1920 by 1080. So if we go back to this and we have a look at it in the preview mode. So as you can see, it looks different. So that was the original, this is that one. So it's actually done the crop for me at 1080p. Uh, so that's all right, but maybe I want to keep the same aspect ratio, but make it, it can't be any wider than 1920 and it can't be any higher than 1080. So what we do there is we uh, change maintain ratio to true. So now when I do this again, I'll just refresh the page, let it catch up with the web config change. But what I'll do is I'll add the image again and we'll see that change then to be a smaller image in terms of pixel size, but it will maintain the same aspect ratio. So it has maintained the aspect ratio. So let's go in and see that image and we can see that it's 1080 in height. So it worked out the ratio and it worked out that it's best to go to the the height of 1080 and bring the width into 1622 and that calculated that for you. So there are, the, there are those options there. Um, and then we've got this apply to existing images. So at the moment it says it's set to true. So what I can do is I can go into the original image which went in at this size and I can just click on save on that image and what that will do is that will resave, resave the image using the settings that we've got. And now the original image has um, been resized down as well. So maybe you've got a load of images on your site that are all massive, taking up loads of space. Well, you can go in and you can save those ones and it will replace it with a smaller version of it up to the sizes that you've already specified up here. So that is basically, that is it. That's what it's for. You, um, some people have asked, oh, well, why don't you use Slimzy? And I think Slimzy, what that does is that uses the image processor on the fly and, and serves the correct um, image size for the browser width that you're on. So that's fine. It can still do all of that. This is all about the file size on the server in terms of, You've got a massive image here, so many pixels wide, we don't need that. So that's the uh, use case for this. So if you want to install it using NuGet, you can just go into your Package Manager console, or you can do it through uh, Tools, NuGet Package Manager, and do it there. And you can just install it like this. So you do Install Package, and then Space, Smaller Images, or you can copy and paste from the... Uh, from the GitHub README. And so I'll just work out what the dependencies are. It should all be fine, it, as I say, 7.6.5 and above for Umbrico. And that's fine. If you're on an older version of Umbrico, so while this does that, I'll just show you what to do. So you're on an older version of Umbrico, you wanna use this code yourself. Just go to the code file, and it's just one file in this here called Media Event Handler what you can do is you can just copy and paste that put that into your project and it will all work um, as long as you've got the right using statements and you might just need to add some of these that are missing references so yeah just so that allows you to use it on on the older versions if you if you like this package and you think it's useful and then just make sure that you use the uh, config settings so it's done that so I'll just click on yes to update so that's all done. So now I've got the uh, package installed via NuGet and it's on my source control now as well. So that's it, it's a package called Smaller Images. I'll create a short link called codeshare.co.uk slash smaller images. That'll go straight to GitHub 
And if you wanted it from uh, our Umbraco, it's ourumbraco.org, and you go to projects, and then it's on the recent list. Click on smaller images. It's got the instructions on how to download it. It's got the NuGet link there, and yeah, so you can download the package. If you click on download, it will download the uh, latest version for you. The downloads are also there. You can click on that as well. So it's a pretty straightforward package. Hopefully some people will make use of it. Um, and if you do like it, please click on vote for me and also report what compatibility you've used it on. And as I said about the compatibility, if you need to use it on an older version of Umbraco, you can do just use that file that we looked at there, Media Event Handler, and do that. If you've got any feedback about the project, um, please, if you've got any issues, raise it as an issue on GitHub. Uh, feel free to contact me, comment on the video, and things like that. So if you like the video, please click on like, subscribe to my channel, uh, feel free to share with others, and I will look forward to making some more videos for you. All right, thanks for watching.